Hi guys, welcome aboard to our new video for the YouTube class natin. And this is actually the first YouTube video for my uh, NAV4 students. So, uh, the title of our topic for this for this video is Celestial Sphere and Equinoctial System of Coordinates uh, for our uh, second lesson actually in the NAV. Four. And as usual, I will be your instructor for this video. Okay? So, apologies pag hindi ako masyadong ganun talaga ka-expert when it comes to uh, this topic. But I will be trying my best to explain the topic. So, we have our learning objectives. No? At the end of the course, the student or you no, should be able to describe this lesson sphere explain the apparent annual motion of the sun and the concept of the ecliptic, define celestial poles, celestial meridians, equinoctial, and the obliquity of the ecliptic, discuss the equinoctial as a fixed reference plane and the direction of the first point of Aries as a reference for direction, ignoring the effect of precession, describe that the equinoctial system coordinates and defines sidereal R angle, declination, and polar distance, and extract information from the star diagrams in the nautical almanac or equivalent star finding device. So, on um, on your on your platform, no, on the M rooms, there is actually a nautical almanac that was provided by the developer by the course developer. So you may download that one for reference as well. And all the lessons, of course. I have sent you through the PDF file that I've been sending you and of course in the end rooms. Okay, so when we're talking about the celestial sphere, the first thing, no? When we say uh, celestial sphere, is a, it is an imaginary sphere with the earth at its center. And the sky overhead is half of the sphere we see from the earth appearing as a dome, even though the sky extend, extends infinitely into the space. The other half of the spheres below the circle of the horizon. As you can see in the illustration, uh, what I am, uh, what uh, I place it here because I want to emphasize that as a uh, celestial sphere, kung baga earth siya, tapos nag-extend, in-extend mo yung coordinates, no? Papalayo, parang ganito. And then at the same time, uh, all the stars, no, di ba, meron tayong mga stars na malalayo, meron tayong mga stars na malapit, but on the celestial sphere, lahat ng stars do, nandoon ng lahat na nakalagay sa ating, kumbaga, sphere na yun, na nakapalibot doon sa Earth natin. So that's how we define celestial sphere. Now, the sphere appears to be rotating from east to west every 24 hours. So celestial bodies appear to rise in the east and set in the west. The Earth rotation creates the illusion that the celestial sphere is rotating. As you can see here, actually, kung ma paano makikita mo, yung rotate yung mga stars sa uh, celestial sphere natin, parang gumaganon siya. But actually, what is happening is ang Earth yung umiikot, not the stars itself. No. It's just how we perceive or how we see the stars on the sky. Now, the celestial, uh, the celestial, celestial, sorry, the celestial equator is an imaginary line around the middle of the celestial sphere, equidistant from the NCP or the North Celestial Pole and the South Celestial Pole, and on the same plane as the Earth's equator. It intersects the circle of the horizon at east and due west. So as you can see, dito meron tayong dito ng celestial equator. It's just how exactly what is the equator of uh, natin, no? Parang equator ng Earth. We're in, it is equidistant from the North Celestial Pole. Meron North Celestial Pole tayo, meron din tayong South Celestial Pole, no? So it's an imaginary, imaginary line in the middle of the celestial sphere. So, ang distance nun mula sa taas, then sa baba, no, equidistant siya, then that's your celestial equator, this one. As described by, of course, our, by our uh, illustration here. We're in 90 degrees, no, from the celestial pole, poles, no, north and south, 
then that's our celestial equator. I hope I'm I can still catch up, no? The celestial equator is an imaginary line around the middle of the celestial sphere. As I said, no, as defined no. So meron tayo dito, no? Celestial equator, this one. As we can see as well here, no? No? Uh, nakikita natin dito na ang celestial equator natin is uh, parang iniba siya. Sinwitch, no? Uh, because our south celestial pole is here, no? And then at the same time, no? The north celestial pole is on the opposite side natin, no? So, sinwitch po siya. Later on, ang ito, ang magiging basihan natin no when it comes to identification of our uh, star diagrams no yung etong half na to is et yung half na nakikita natin so etong side na to is eto siya no so the described dito or yung declination natin na ganito and pagano so anyways, kasi ito yung illustration because uh, meron tayong zenith dito and later on, i-explain natin siya. Um, celestial equator is the imaginary projection, of course, no? Of our of our uh, the, the celestial equator, I mean, no? It's the imaginary projection of our Earth's equator. Now, what we are seeing here, what is being uh, shown here, is the ecliptic. No, the ecliptic is where the the sun the sun travels through the celestial sphere natin. No, jan kumbaga nito travel jan dumadaan yung sun natin, and we have this different uh, equinoxes as well. Meron tayong tinatawag na autumnal equinox, meron tayong summer solstice vernal equinox and the winter solstice later on we will be defining that one and also this one is the ating uh, illustration of how is the celestial equator then where the sun is passing through and that is what we call your ecliptic uh, in some sources now the definition of the celestial equator and the equinoctial is the same if you will understand that one. And uh, here is another uh, illustration of how it is being perceived by a person or an observer from the Earth. Or of what is a celestial sphere. And actually the celestial sphere is turning on that way. Turning on that way, Pusha. Now the ecliptic is the mean plane in the sky, as I said that the sun follows over the course of the year. So, doon dumadaan yung sun natin as being perceived or kung ititignan siya natin sa ating uh, view, no? As an observer mula sa Earth. Kung baga nakatayo ko dun sa Earth, then kung baga kung titignan mo siya sa sphere na ikita mo, so, yun, yung parang line na yan wherein the sun passes there. That's what we call your ecliptic. The north and the south poles are the two imaginary points in the sky where the Earth's axis of rotation is the, the indefinitely extended and intersects the celestial sphere. So that becomes your north celestial pole. The extended lang po kung ano yung uh, north uh, poles natin, then extend mo lang siya up, then kung saan nag-rotate yung Earth natin, that is what is your north and south celestial poles, respectively. We have your celestial meridians. No? Celestial meridians are semi-great circles on the celestial sphere joining the celestial poles. Celestial meridians intersect the equinoctial and parallels of declination at right angles. So, yung sinasabi natin equinoctial, ito yung celestial equator na sinasabi natin. So, ito. Ang celestial meridian is this one. Ito po siya. Kung sa bibasya natin sa terrestrial navigation, kumbaga, para siyang yung parang longitude. No? Para siyang longitude. But the meridian is uh, yung pagano'n siya. Kumbaga yung ito siya. No? 
So we have also the angle at which ecliptic crosses the equinoxion is called the obliquity of the ecliptic. Ito po siya. No? The angle at which the ecliptic, ito yung ecliptic na to, crosses the equinoxial. Ito yung equinoxial natin. No? Ito yung tinatawag natin na obliquity of the ecliptic. Now, this value is 23 degrees to 27 minutes approximately and varies very slightly by a few seconds of arc each year on either side of its mean value which is assumed to be at to be constant at 23 degrees 27 of arc without producing any appreciable error. No? Uh, the first point of Aries. Uh, mer meron tayong symbol for first point of Aries. Parang po siyang medal or parang po siyang toro na parang may, may sungay. No? It is the imaginary fixed point at the celestial sphere where the ecliptic crosses the equinoxial when the sun is moving from the south to north. So, meron tayong obliquity of the ecliptic and kapag nag-cross po yung ating when the sun is moving from the south to the north no? from the south to the north then uh, dun po yung ating uh, first point of Aris. No? Kumbaga, it is the imaginary fixed point on the celestial sphere kung saan uh, the ecliptic crosses the equinoxial when the sun is moving from the south to the north uh, declination po siya. So, the first point of Libra. The first point of Libra is the opposite of course of the first point of Aris natin, no? which is the point where the ecliptic crosses the equinoxial when the sun is moving from the north to the south. As we can see, the definition of the first point of Aries is from south to north siya. South to north. Now, so, the first point of Libra naman, on the other hand, uh, is when the sun is moving from the north to the south. No? North to the south. North to the south. Ah, sorry, north not to the south, no? This point, diametrically opposite the first point of Aries. These are also the points, no? The points, uh, two fixed points of equinoxes natin, yung, yung diniscuss natin dito. Kanina, this one, equinoxes natin. So, where the declination of the sun is zero. So, we proceed with the sidereal R angle. It is the angle at the celestial pole or the arc of the equinox shall contain between the meridian of the first point of Aries and the celestial meridian passing through the heavenly body always measured westwards and expressed in degrees, minutes, and seconds of R. So, ito po for example ang ating uh, first point of Aries, no? Ang first point of Aries na yan is yan yung maging reference point na ating sidereal R angle papunta kung saan yung star or reference point natin na hinahanap. For example, ito po, siya, ito po siya. So, this one, the angle here is natinatawag nating sidereal, uh, sidereal R angle. And remember that it always starts with the first point of Aries natin. We have also two terms here, the zenith and the nadir. Zenith is the point on the celestial sphere vertically above the observer. That is the point at which the straight, uh, which a straight line from the center of the Earth to the observer meets the celestial sphere. So, for example, the coming observer na yan, the point directly above you is called the zenith, and uh, opposite non sa pinakababa is the nadir. So, for example, this one, no, the zenith natin is nandito, and opposite nun is, of course, the nadir. Remember also that the azimuth is, kumbaga, yung parang bearing niya, no, from the north, no, what is the angular uh, distance or angular direction of what, of the star that you are observing. So, that's the azimuth. 
The altitude is of course from the horizon ang angle ang angle pataas. That's your altitude. Yes po, I hope I'm getting it right. Declination is angular distance north or south from the celestial equator. Now, for example, this is your celestial equator from the equator up. So that's your declination. Now, from the standard, for example, that you are observing, no? So this is, for example, the celestial equator, and then from this one to that star is your declination. Ito po siya. Then, the polar distance is the angular distance from a celestial pole or the arc of an R circle between the celestial pole and the point on the celestial sphere. So, opposite po siya from the poles, pababa, now to the star, and that's your polar distance. No? And all of these things, no, gagamitin natin siya later on for the time diagram. No, where in nakita natin dito, meron tayo dito first point of Aries, this one. And this one is your sidereal R angle, kung nakita natin. Because this will become, or this will serve as your, kumbaga, the the star that you are observing, no? Tapos from ito, pupunta siya dito, then that becomes your SHA or your sidereal R angle. We'll be discussing more on the next PowerPoint presentation or next videos that we have. Now, for any concerns, you may email me for clarifications, guys, and for your private messaging on the FB Messenger for our class, no? So, good luck to your... Uh, quizzes and your your examinations for the lab four on of course on our platform or on the end groups i'll see you around for the next vi videos or continuation of my explanation regarding those celestial spheres and everything i'll see you around stay safe always and thank you and god bless you